Hi everybody, I'm Kelly Harrell and you're listening to What in the Weird. It's been a minute since I could talk without coughing my brains out, so I wanted to catch everybody up on all the weird. The latest weekly rune is out today, featuring the half-month stay of Ewaz in its second week for the year, so you can catch that on theweeklyrune.com. I've also had a few questions come in that I wanted to address, and the first one is, are the runes a form of divination? Well, I guess that depends. If you want to get right down to it, there's no historic precedent of the runes being originally used as a form of divination. So there's a huge debate in runic communities whether they should be used as divinatory tools. The runes originated, historically speaking, as an alphabet with no specific use as an oracle. Though some believe that in uh, chapter 10 of Germania by Tacitus, when he referred to casting lots, it's a phrase that's used a lot in other period, to period texts, that that indicated divinatory use of the runes. But nobody really knows that for sure, which is why it remains a hotly contested detail. Um, one of the many rune controversies. So to me, the real question is, how do we define divination? This didn't start with the New Age, though the New Age has reinforced the idea that divination is a catch-all method of using symbols to tell the future. But in a more general context, divination is the act of learning information through a means beyond the five senses, and that's it, really. It's more the act of using a system to learn hidden things, which some people attribute to the supernatural. For some, it's intuition. For some, it's decoding layers of ancient symbols that have been uh, shaped into the human psyche. So my take on divination, in case you're wondering, particularly with the runes and as an animist, is that we're working with ancient forces that have layers of meaning spanning the esoteric to the practical, the communal to the personal, um, governance to how we live, to primal living, that gives us keen insight on the present from which we make more informed choices about how we go forward. So in other words, the runes are deeply ingrained into the human psyche, and by clarifying dynamics in the present, they give us help in navigating how we go into the future. So if that's our definition of divination, by all means, I'm confident in using the runes as an oracle. To me, they, they're more like an ancient conversation, drawing on ancestral wisdom for how I can make decisions. The way we use them to accomplish that, well, that's a whole other episode. So what do you think about the runes as an oracle? How do you define divination? I'd love to hear your thoughts and other questions here on Anchor where you can call in, just tap the button to call in, or you can email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-E-Y, at soulintentarts.com. And don't forget, you can check out theweeklyrune.com or totally wave your weird flag by showing your financial support, subscribing to the Weekly Rune on patreon.com. If you'd like to do that, just go to Patreon and do a search on the Weekly Rune. So thanks. It's good to be out here with you again and dream well.